Hi, what I'm showing here is the Open Sprinkler Pi, which is an extension board designed for the Raspberry Pi uh, that allows you to use the GPIO pins to directly interface with uh, sprinkler valves. So the kit includes an assembled uh, Open Sprinkler Pi board, a plastic enclosure, some female to female jumper wires, uh, and uh, screw terminals. To make this work, you additionally need a Raspberry Pi, either Model A or Model B, and a USB Wi-Fi dongle like this one, and of course a SD card that has the Raspberry Pi operating system installed. You will also need a 24 volt AC sprinkler transformer like this one, uh, and this transformer will be used to, to provide power to the Open Sprinkler Pi. Uh, which will in turn power the Raspberry Pi uh, and also the uh, transformer will uh, provide power to the sprinkler valves. The circuit design for the Open Sprinkler Pi is fairly straightforward. First, it has a switching regulator section which uh, steps down the input 24 volt AC to 5 volt DC regulated power. Uh, then it has shift registers and triacs to interface with uh, sprinkler solenoids. Uh, it also has a, a DS1307 RTC with backup battery. The switching regulator uh, can output a maximum of 1 amp uh, output current, which is sufficient to drive the uh, Raspberry Pi together with a Wi-Fi uh, USB dongle. Before you begin, first uh, you need to plug in the power through the screw terminal uh, on the left side of the circuit board. Then slide down the power switch to turn it on. At this point, the green LED on the board should light up to indicate that power is available. Next, use a multimeter to measure the voltage across this Zener diode here and make sure that the uh, reading is about uh, 5 volt. Now to connect a Raspberry Pi to the Open Sprinkler Pi board, you need to use this 8 pin cable and also the 3 pin cable uh, and the connection should uh, follow the diagram shown here. So the 8-pin cable includes the GPIO pins, the I2C pins, and also the 3.3-volt um, uh, uh, regulated power from the Raspberry Pi board. And the 3-pin cable provides the 5-volt regulated power from the um, Open Sprinkler Pi to the Raspberry Pi. It is very important to make sure that these connections are made uh, correctly. Otherwise, you may risk uh, damaging the Raspberry Pi. In order to secure the Raspberry Pi on top of the Open Sprinkler Pi board, uh, first uh, uh, notice that there are these uh, copper separation pillars uh, which can support a Raspberry Pi on top of the Open Sprinkler Pi. Next, use uh, these uh, two screws, one on the bottom um, of the board and one on the left side of the board to uh, secure the uh, uh, Raspberry Pi uh, on the edge of the PCB. When the whole thing is placed under the um, enclosure cover, that will provide additional support to make sure that the Raspberry Pi doesn't move around. So after you put everything together, this is what it uh, looks like. Uh, so the enclosure has cutouts on the sides um, to allow the connectors and also the SD card to pass through. So the screw terminal on the left hand side uh, is the 24 volt AC input power supply. And uh, on the bottom this is uh, the common wire screw terminal. And these eight are the individual station terminals. This is an example of how you uh, will connect the sprinkler valves uh, to the board. Uh, this is the common wire and these are the individual station wires. Now, um, at the very end, this 2x4 uh, 
a pin header is for uh, connecting to zone expansion board. So you can buy a standard open sprinkler zone ex expansion board and use a 2x4 uh, pin cable uh, to, um, uh, to expand the uh, number of stations. There are currently three uh, simple demo programs that you can find in the Open Sprinkler Pi uh, GitHub repository. The first one is written in C based on the wiring Pi library. Uh, it basically uh, turns on each station uh, for 10 seconds, one after another. Again, this is a C-based uh, uh, program. The second program is written in Python. It basically runs a simple Python HTTP server, which will present a button-based uh, web page that you can uh, manually uh, turn on or turn off a station by simply pressing the uh, corresponding button, like this one here. The third one is also written in Python. It makes use of uh, the Google cal a Google Calendar uh, for you to uh, easily uh, schedule uh, uh, sprinkler programs by essentially uh, using the calendar uh, events uh, with the title corresponds to the station name. The reason to use Google Calendar is that uh, it's fairly easy uh, and convenient uh, for scheduling uh, complex re uh, recurring events uh, and also it's accessible on both a desktop and mobile um, devices. That's all for the introduction of the Open Sprinkler Pi. Additional details can be found in my blog at httpracehobby.net. Uh, and also, the hardware design files and the software code have been published uh, on uh, the Race Hobby uh, GitHub repository. Thanks for watching.